AI in medicine. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. And it's something we're starting to hear a lot. AI. 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 Artificial intelligence is part of the new frontier in medicine. It's on the news. Scientists are talking about it. Doctors are talking about it. And medical school nowadays are teaching us about it. Uh, in this video series, uh, we will talk about artificial intelligence and its role in clinical decision supports. So yeah, that's one of the lectures that teaches us the role of AI in medicine. Basically, if we want to talk about the next medical breakthroughs, technology has inevitably becomes part of the conversation. But the idea of medical AI seems kind of far-fetched, right? Fancy machines and futuristic tech straight out of science fiction. Running diagnostics. Oh, 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 oh God! No, it is not. It's just completely obvious within five years, um, deep learning is going to do better than radiologists. Put ChatGPT to the test. This thing is smarter than me. <laughs> That's scary. AI can really do wonders, right? Oh, it is doing wonders. So well, I figured while the AI tech can get really complicated, fancy words like algorithms, narrow AI, deep learning, artificial neural networks, to machine learning. The more I delve into it, I figured at the fundamental core, what the development of medical AI has really shown us is something really simple. Medicine is inherently a human enterprise. Human factor as well. Human aspect. The interpersonal relationship, doctor, patient, rapport, personal touch. And that empathy, that human element of caring for another person is not something that an algorithm can reproduce. The importance of human to human interaction. The inner sentiments of what patients really want from the doctors. All right, so let's start with the basics. What exactly is AI in medicine? How would you define artificial intelligence? Any use of algorithms for the purpose of either enabling diagnosis, uh, prognosis or treatment recommendation for patients sort of encompass in the science of machine learning and that is just you know providing large amounts of data to algorithms in order to uh, arrive at certain conclusions in medicine right now which is to teach a machine to perform a very narrow task that a human can do so why is it so powerful in medicine and I think it's because of this this is a online catalog of human genes and genetic diseases it is an open source database that literally tells you the specific genetic sequences that determine certain things in a human body. From skin color, hair color, eye color, to rare genetic diseases. The point is, what underlies medicine is science. And science is data, and from centuries of data, we see patterns. Sexnet was given tens of thousands of images and told which ones have pneumonia and which don't. 280,000 of those scans. She's looked at now over 200,000 mammograms. We're providing large amounts of data to algorithms in order to uh, arrive at certain conclusions. All done by computer because they look for patterns that the human brain couldn't have seen, but they saw. Human physiology is a pattern. Signs and symptoms experienced by patients are also patterns. Diagnosing disease by clinicians is also based on patterns. And AI is really good at it. Is it possible that it could tell you before I even know that I'm having problems? Yes, 100%. They have the ability to analyze billions of data points and come into a conclusion really quickly. It's a volume that a human brain cannot even start to comprehend. More than 350 gigabytes of information per patient goes into a central computer where artificial intelligence then processes the data. But on paper, it certainly sounds like AI is doing good things for humanity. Why should medical professionals be worried about it? Is there a fear that radiologists will be replaced by AI? But will this new technology replace the need for humans in the hospital altogether? Somewhat audacious statement that AI is going to put all physicians out of business. Will chat GPT ever replace doctors? It's scale. Doctors may not possibly read all the research, but AI can. Doctors may not pick up all the subtle details on a scans, but AI can. Doctors may not always make the most accurate diagnosis, but AI can. And AI is just going to improve as we speak. So what more is there in a human doctor? I think the doctors will still not be re irreplaceable because of the human aspect. But can it actually replace doctors, no, because doctors have that human factor as well. When you go see a doctor, you don't really want to see a 
through Fortnite. The lack of the interpersonal relationship, which I think is a very big factor into what a patient seeks. Talking to a real human might make it easier for the patient to say what they actually want to say and they'll feel like you understand them better. So in a way I feel like that's why AI cannot necessarily replace human doctors. Alright, alright. Is this really going to be a video where we dissect the intricacies of a human-to-human -human interaction, maybe. But I thought, if you really want to explore if AI can ultimately replace doctors, how about let's explore some of the occupation right now that AI is attempting to replace. Alright, so right now, I am going to Queen Mary Hospital because there's this restaurant inside the hospital. There's this unique thing that I want to show you guys. It's a long way up there. Very steep slope too. Almost there. Yes. Right here. Alright, here we go. I'm actually following you. Whoa. Alright, we have this mess. I can robot clean it up. All right, so as you can see, there's this minor error that happened. It's because of the AI couldn't detect how long I am retrieving the set and therefore just ran away. This will not happen with human, right? Here's the mute. There are just so many other variables in real life that maybe an AI couldn't detect at the moment. I'm doing a film about robot surgery. Can I ask you? What do you think? Do you think it has a chance? It's a chance to control it. I know, but it's a chance. You can control it. It's a chance to control it. It's a chance to control it. 唔係，即係我啱啱有個 scenario 就係我攞餐啦，想攞上面嗰啲嘢啦，但係未攞得切，咁已經走咗啦。嗱，好簡單，會嗱呢啲咧點解咧？我哋 set 咗時間四十五秒，明白？四十五秒其實唔需要四十五秒攞嗰個餐，係，但係唔知啲咩情況底下會係四十五秒之內攞個餐。咁佢會走咯，明白？就係咁解咯。而你覺得都好幫得手添，係咪？梗係幫到手啦。係咪啊？請少兩個。係啊，得呢個已經係可以幫到我哋嘅。其實我已經考慮緊要擺多隻喺度。擺多隻你已經係啦。講緊㗎啦。OK。Very cool, right? But here's the thing. What if I want some food recommendation because I have food allergy? What if I'm a child? What if I'm someone who has disability that needed help to carry the meal? They can't do that yet. The thing is, AI is really good at providing scripted response. AI is not really good at nuanced and spontaneous interactions in the moment, especially in new scenarios and new contexts. It is only as good as what is programmed based on previous input. But reality is not like this. To what the whole world just experienced, medicine is in constant new discovery, new diseases and new patterns to be found. Let alone that the interaction between each patient is different and new. Can AI really learn that? Maybe. Taken from the experience, I think the important point to take away is that for AI to excel, there is always a human to govern the entire process. All today require a human intervention to come in and say, I agree. And instead thinking it as a replacement, I think it more as a partnership. Human and AI both have their strengths and weaknesses. Humans are good at creativity, adaptability, 
physical capability. Whereas AI, on the other hand, is really good at scalability, memory, speed, and efficiency. But ultimately, because we always need a human to continually perfect the AI system, instead of can AI replace doctors, the better question is, how is AI changing the role of doctors? So there's a lot of potential how it's going to transform what we do as physicians. Take big burden off the physicians and nurses and provide them time to actually engage what we are here for, taking care of the patients. We will use it, not because it outperforms me, but it's going to augment me. Are you worried that doctors is going to be replaced? Uh, no, I'm very welcoming of AI if it helps me make my job more easy. Yep, I'm definitely the positive for change, welcoming for change. I'd say doctors would be here to stay. I think I'm optimistic. Thinking that it replaces doctors, I think we can think of it as helps the doctors in sort of different aspects of their job. Yeah, I'm optimistic. I'm sure that like humans will find different ways to make it more well suited to what we're doing um, as part of our work as well. So hopefully it'll turn out for the better. And finally, I want to leave you guys with this one quote. The cool thing about AI, it's going to make the good doctors great. Yes, the whole point of this technology is to make good doctors great. Of course, there will be concerns on the ethical and privacy issues of this technology, but at the fundamental core, I think the development of AI has accelerated and showed us the importance of what patients really want from the doctors. Empathy. 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 Hope. The interpersonal relationship. Doctor-patient rapport. Community. Personal touch. The expressions you make or your body language. Trust. Connection between another human and human. Thank you for watching this video. I really enjoyed doing this mini documentary style. What do you guys think about it? Definitely comment down below and tell me how I did. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And with that all said, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.